As a fragile temporary ceasefire held for a second day, life in some parts of Gaza started to show small signs of normalcy Tuesday. The two-day lull in the violence allowed residents in Jabalia to pack the streets and visit the markets and ATMs. Still, evidence of the month-long war is everywhere. Thousands of homes and businesses demolished, neighborhoods that stood just weeks ago now reduced to rubble. In hard-hit Bet Lahia in the northern Gaza Strip, residents sat surrounded by destruction but still defiant, insisting until Palestinian demands are met, the war will go on. Ceasefire or not, we are not afraid. We did not ask for a ceasefire. We must achieve our demands, the airport, port, borders, and a state with Jerusalem as its capital. The first priority for Hamas is an end to a seven-year-old Israeli and Egyptian border blockade of the Gaza Strip, while Israel wants Hamas to disarm. Palestinian negotiators have also made the revival of a Gaza seaport one of their key demands in the Cairo talks. Local fishermen say an independent port is crucial for restoring Gazan livelihoods. The port needs to be independent, so we won't be under the control of the Jews and the surrounding countries, so that we are in charge of our own daily life and future. A senior Israeli official suggested Tuesday talks in Egypt were not going well. The seaport, as well as Hamas demands the territory's airport be reopened, are reportedly areas of deep differences in the negotiations. A similar three-day truce collapsed Friday when militants resumed rocket fire on Israel after the sides were unable to make any headway in the talks. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.